wonderful world of Disney. In the Rocky Mountains, the coming of spring is a spectacle as changeless as the mountains themselves. But many years ago, when I was young, they were nearly a trackless wilderness, inhabited only by those who had been there from the beginning, and watched over by all Ballhead, the eagle. In those days, as always, there were many who lived their lives in fear of being hunted, and a few, like my grandfather and me, who were the hunters. My grandfather was a chief of the Arapaho tribe. They called him Joseph Running Deer, and I was called to Sean. During the years we trapped and hunted together, both grandfather and I, learn many things about each other and about ourselves. And one of our greatest lessons came to us from an animal, a beaver. He was that rarest and most valuable of beavers, a black. The day I first saw the black, I had dreams of being a mighty hunter, but I was only 16 then, and I had not yet learned from grandfather the lesson of patience. Spring had come everywhere earlier than last year. See how deep the rabbit runs already are. Summer will be a time of plenty for us all. And winter will be good too. Let's mark our signs well, so we can plan our winter trap like dirt. Where'd he go? You were in too much of a hurry. Too far away. This time of year, a beaver pelt is almost worthless. Worthless? It was a black beaver. A black beaver is valuable any kind. True. But even more so next winter when his pelt will be primed. He knew how to get away so quickly. He must be very smart for such a young one. Very wise. Wise? There is no young beaver so wise as an old beaver. That one will mate. Will have children. Then at the proper time, they'll be rich hunting. If we can find his lodge, we will. We will. But you must be more patient. This is the time of year the young ones are leaving their parents, traveling to new areas, finding their mates, making new homes. We will find them. Don't be disappointed if it takes much time. Like all yearling beavers this time of the year, the black would have been traveling for many weeks now. After leaving his home with a feeling that he was no longer wanted or needed there, he had no sense of where to go or what to do except to keep moving until he found another place, like the home he had left. Of course, there would be many dangers along the way, but perhaps the worst of all were the dog otters. He was safe from most predators, as long as he could reach the water. 
But the otters could not swim him easily, and they were swift and cruel hunters. beaver continued his track, moving sometimes cross-country, but more often along the waterways, searching constantly for a home of its own. But every likely place seemed to be already occupied. There would be no great urgency, however, until the temperature took a sudden drop and the leaves turned gold, and the young beaver would sense that any place he could find now would have to do. It was deep in a hidden canyon that he finally found it. It was nothing more than an old refuge hold, probably built years before and long abandoned. All he'd need now for the winter was here, shelter and a supply of food nearby. For the next few months at least, his track had ended. For grandfather and me, the summer was over too, and it had been a very good one, except that we had never seen another sign of the black beaver. But no matter, we would be back after the first snows, when tracking and trapping would be much easier and more profitable.
set this trap very carefully. There would be no reason to wait. We knew it would be many hours after our footsteps had died away before the black felt safe to go outside again. It must have been a frightening and painful experience. After all, it had cost him a part of his right hind foot. As long as he lived, he would never forget the accurate scent of steel. Sometimes it is difficult to tell the difference between luck and wisdom. Look, one thing is certain. We have marked him forever. No other beaver will make such a track. Wise or lucky, the black had discovered how to spring our traps. And after that, 
no matter how careful we were, we had no chance to catch him that winter. find him next year. I do not think so. He is alone here. Or else he would have built a better lodge. When spring comes, he must leave here and go out and look for a mate. And he may have to travel very far. Then do you think we will ever find him again? Coming up spring, we knew that Black would be leaving his bachelor lodge and heading deeper into the wilderness. But for us, it was time to start the long journey home with our winter's take. It's been a fine season. We never got the Black. We'll get another chance next winter. You really think so? Of course. But something else gets it first. A pack of dog otters, maybe. A wolverine. A sickness. Who knows what? And if we can find him. We will. We will. Of course, we could not know what would happen to the black that summer. But as grandfather had said, it would not be easy for him.
As Grandfather had said, he would also be searching for a mate. And sometime during the summer, he would find one. And from then on, they would travel together. Honey up the left fork. The right fork's very hard traveling. The right. Divides and branches like the veins of a leaf. Next winter, or the winter after, one branch, one vein will take us to where the black one lives. came and went, and the next, and the years that followed were good, gentle years in the high country. For grandfather and me, they were a time of warm summers and good hunting, and also a time of great and growing frustration. Every chance we had, we traveled some new unknown canyon always in hopes of finding some clue to the Black's whereabouts, and always without a hint of success. But Grandfather was very good at this business, and so it was inevitable that eventually we would find him. 
In the vastness of these mountains, though, this was a very small thing. So small as to be unnoticed in the majesty of the changing seasons. in the secrecy of the Hidden Valley, these were good years, too, for the Black and his family. He had picked his new home well, but the beaver's reputation as a hard worker is a well-earned one. And so, there was always much to do. Each spring brought a new litter of young ones to be provided for and taught to swim and taught to obey the warning slap of the father's tail when danger was near. <laughs> During summer and fall, the dam and lodge had to be strengthened and enlarged and winter provisions stored up. Refuge holes had to be dug and maintained before the first snowfall. Even during the long, quiet winters, there was much to be done. Keeping the lodge stocked with food and constantly cleaning it out just to keep it livable. When the third summer came to the Secret Valley, it brought with it a bad omen, the dog utters. <laughs> hadn't been hungry enough to take on a full-grown beaver. But for the black, they had only been a sign of more trouble to come. For this was the day Grandfather and I finally found his lodge. It had been over three years since we had last seen him.
Here. We had spent many of our furs to buy a special trap. It was very powerful, and Grandfather felt sure the black would not be able to escape it. Careful to shot. We also went to much trouble to set it in a special way. Attached to a stake directly in front of the entrance to his lodge. We knew, of course, it would be many hours before the black would dare venture outside his lodge after the disturbance we had caused. But what we did not know then was that the dark otters would get there first. And this time it was winter, and they were very hungry. Thank you. 
plan was to drive the black and his family out of his lodge and into the refuge hole. There, we could imprison him and capture him more easily. is ready.
Grandfather, you could have killed him. You could have too? We've hunted him for so many years. And today, we caught him. Why didn't you kill him, Tushan? Because he is such a fine animal. If he lives, he might produce many more such animals. He will have all the felt he can trap. Why did you not kill him? Because... Because he is wise. Because he deserves to live to be your grandfather. Because there is a reward for wisdom. And because it is important for you. For me? It is important for you to know. Much wisdom lives in these mountains. And it will always be here. I think perhaps both grandfather and I learned a great deal from that day. The wise old beaver was even wiser than we knew. Was he not wise enough to be our teacher? <laughs>